Hi, and welcome to Healy Fit with your instructor, Jen. For more, don't forget to subscribe, click like, or select notifications. Today, I have a Pilates practice for you that's going to focus mostly on some kneeling work. So get ready with a padded mat or cushion under your knees. We'll start by reaching the arms all the way forward as you sit back and then opening up along the chest. So kind of that C curve into the back and belly and then opening up into a tall elevated posture. Good. Continue like that. A few more. Starting to stretch out along the spine and activate your core muscles. God, reach forward, scoop back, inhale, rise up, pull the elbows and shoulders back to spread the chest apart. Good, so you feel that stretch upper back and then pectoralis. Awesome. Good, we're also warming up into the glutes and hamstrings. Let's add a thoracic twist from kneeling. Good, turning as much as you can, elbow to elbow. As you turn, just like you're wringing out a towel, I want you to draw your navel into your spine. Exhale as you twist. Come back into a tall kneeling posture in the center. Fantastic. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Doing so good. Already starting to feel a bit of warmth. Hopefully it is not as hot for you where you are as it is where I am. Fantastic. Keep going. Back into center. Let's add a tilt side to side. Good. So fingertips up to temples or maybe down to the hips if this is starting to bother your shoulders at all. Head is up tall and we're just kind of leaning out side to side. We want to feel those outer obliques and we're working into what I have affectionately termed as your love muffins, that top of the hip area. It is a muscle and we are working it here. So elbow down towards the hip as low as you can go. So you feel that love muffin working hard. Awesome. We've got a few more to each side because we really want to feel, we really want to work into our range of motion as well. So maybe just go a millimeter further each time you go down, testing that range of motion, going to the point where you feel the muscle, but you don't feel any pain or strain. Awesome. Hands come down. Let's go into all fours, cat to cow, shoulders over wrists or just behind the wrists. Scoop into the belly and then let the belly drop. God, round along the back, curve navel to spine, lift along the front, elongate chin to pelvis. Awesome, again, we're feeling that stretch from a different position this time, so arcing up into the back, feeling the stretch across the shoulders, and then releasing the belly, lifting rib cage from hips to elongate through the trunk. Let's go for another one. And then we'll settle into a tabletop position. We're gonna extend the right leg back, lift and lower. Go ahead, so single leg lift from kneeling. Now, if you really wanted to dial up the intensity, you could also do this from plank. But I'm gonna stay kneeling for those of you who wanna go kind of intermediate, maybe beginner for you, depending on what this feels like. It's all in the eye of the beholder, right? Everything can be a little bit difficult or a little bit easy, depending on where you are in your fitness journey. Go ahead, fold the heel in, extend the leg out. We're going to work into the hamstrings. Go ahead, so every time you draw the heel to the hip, I want you to flex the back of the leg, feel strength, and then feel length. Go ahead, strengthening the muscle and then lengthening the muscle. Fantastic. Let's hold this next one in. Cross over the left leg and then kick the leg up as high as feels right for you. I want you to feel this from the lower back into the top of the rump. Good. So you should feel this low back, glutes, and then hamstrings. So back of the thigh into the buttocks and then the low back. Good. Again, we're working through range of motion. 
getting a little bit of length into the outer thigh and glute and then pushing and strengthening that same area. Good, let's lengthen the leg all the way out and come into our kneeling crunch. Good, lengthen and then strengthen. That is the name of the game today. Go ahead, stretch the leg out and then fold the leg in. Every time you bring the nose towards the knee, scoop that belly up high and up towards the spine. Go ahead, round across the shoulders. We wanna feel the shoulders spread across the back. So we're working into the front deltoids and pectoralis, the front of the shoulders and chest muscles. Awesome, hold that leg out, take it out to the side. Walk your hands back, bring your fingertips up to your temples again, and we're gonna scoop into our C curve, little lean backward, and then lift up. So you wanna feel this one as you lean back a little bit into the hamstrings, but we are focusing on that curvature along the spinal column. So from tailbone to crown of head, can we lengthen that accordion kind of crunch, navel to spine? and length along the vertebra. Fantastic, feeling your core, really dialing in, rib cage towards hips, folding along the front of the body. Now let's lean out to the side and then back into center. Go ahead, lean towards the extended leg and then back into center. Let's do four more to this side. And three. Two. One. Now we're going to lean over to the other side. Go ahead, bringing it down towards the hip. Just going again, your range of motion. You might go a little bit further, or a little bit less far as your instructor today. So just go with what feels right for you, what is challenging for you. Go ahead and maybe taking it again a millimeter further each time you bring your elbow towards the mat, towards the thigh, or towards the hip. Awesome, almost through with these. Now let's slide the leg forward, bend into the knee, and we're gonna twist again. Go ahead, so that thoracic twist, navel to spine like you're wringing out a towel. Go ahead, really open along the chest, feel that stretch into the back. Exhale, navel to spine, inhale through center. All right, y'all get ready, there is a quiz coming. Do you remember all the stuff we did on this side? Cause we gotta do it all on the other side. Let's come down into all fours. Let's start out with our cat to cow, rounding into the back, and then opening up into the belly. God, feel that stretch. And then release. Lengthen back, and then lengthen front. Oh, fantastic, feels so good. Length from the crown of the head down to the tailbone. Awesome, let's go for another one. Arc up, release down, and come into tabletop. This time the other leg comes back, lift and lower lift and lower good so make sure you're working a different leg i don't want your legs to be too bad mad at me tomorrow right lift and lower keep the belly scooped in so this leg lifting taxes a little bit of that erector spinae low back area so when we keep our core braced pulling the navel back to the spine kind of a little flexion into the core we protect the lower back we want to keep protecting the low back as we fold the heel in towards the hip, utilizing the hamstring back of thigh muscle. Good, so that's that bump right below the glutes. Go ahead, continue to fold in and extend out. Go 
side. Now, just remember, once you finish on this side, we are going into stretches. So we are almost there. Crossover is next. Cross over your bottom leg and then push the heel up to the sky. Good, push enough that you feel, again, low back, glutes, and back of thigh. Good, core brace to protect that low back as you kick upwards, pushing the heel up as high as feels right for you. Awesome, extend the leg and let's fold into our kneeling crunches. Extend back and then nose towards knee. Awesome, continue lengthening the leg all the way back and then folding all the way in. Feel length and extension all the way from the crown to the toes and then flex rib cage to hips as you draw the nose towards the knee. Good, almost there. Squeeze navel back towards spine and then lengthen. Awesome. Let's take the leg out to the side. Come up into kneeling. Fingertips up to temples. We're going to fold along the trunk. So exhale, navel back towards spine. Look towards the mat and then out in front of you. Good. Now again, those hands can be up towards the head or maybe hands to hips. Allow the navel to thread all the way back to the spine. So strong exhale every time you bring your trunk downward into that flexion position. Awesome, back into center. Let's lean out towards the extended leg, working into our love muffin. Good, continue to lean out to the side and then back up through center. Go ahead, flexing along the rib cage to hips on the outer edge of the body where that extended leg is. Go ahead, continue to lean down and then come back in through center. Feel the stretch, elbow to hip on that bent knee side and then come back into neutral. Good, back in, let's go to the bent knee and then back into center. So this one, we're almost trying to get the elbow to the mat. Imagine taking it down just a little bit further with each repetition, seeing just how far we can take it while maintaining our balance and stability. Guys, so that's the name of the game. How many ways can we flex the trunk? Can we utilize our abdominals, our core, both the back and front of the body while moving in various directions? God, let's do one more and then bring it into the center, adding that twist. So the side leg comes to the front, we twist and then come back in. Guys, so kneeling lunge exhaling into our thoracic twist let's do four more of these exhale every time you twist good pull the belly button back away from the waistband fantastic as you bring it down let's come into child's pose this time both knees back together hips to heels arms extended to the front edge of the mat Release your forehead towards the floor and stretch fingertips all the way down to hips. Inhaling, rise up, thread the needle, and let's stretch those shoulders. Got lots of shoulder flexion as we brought our fingertips up to our temples. We had a little bit of mid-deltoid. And let's stretch along the back of the body into the mid-deltoid here as we thread the needle. Awesome, coming back in through center. Light push of the mat, coming into kneeling, heel of the palm into the low back. Use your back flexion to stretch along the front of the body. So now we're releasing rib cage to hips, feeling that stretch along the front. Coming into seated or maybe staying in kneeling, let's twist, looking over the back shoulder. 
good, stretching out those obliques. Inhale through center, let's switch directions. Look over the back shoulder as you twist. Awesome, feel that stretch along the back body. One more deep breath and let's bring it back into center. Big inhale, arms reach all the way up to the sky. Lengthen from your fingertips to your hips. Exhale the arms down halfway because you need a big hug after all that. Thank you all so much. It's such a pleasure working out with you. Take care, be well, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to let me know you want more videos like this one. I appreciate you watching. You can always follow me on social as well at Healy Fit. Until next time, y'all.